So a logarithm is basically an exponential function just written so that you're solving for x. In this standard format, b to the x, so base to the x power, equals an answer, some value. So we're trying to, in an exponential function, find out what the value of the base raised to its exponent is. Well, if we don't know what that exponent is, that's our unknown, and that's what we're trying to solve for. So a logarithm lets us set it up so that we are solving for the unknown because we know two of the other values. So, and to do this, we just start with v, okay? So we start by log, and this is the abbreviation. You just refer to a logarithm as a log, and you write its base, so log b, the base of, and then we basically, we start circling around. And then when we get to the second number, base of A is, and then we finish up with our X. Some base of this answer is, we get there from whatever this exponent value was. So it's just a matter of rewriting it. You're circling around. And then if I went here and I looped back around, I would get back to my b to the x power equals the a. So it all has to do with when rewriting it, just take it for a loop, okay? So if we had, say, log 2 of 16 equals x. Base 2 of 16. So we're trying to find out 2 to what power got us 16 as an answer. So in order to actually solve a logarithm, you can do it two ways. You can start multiplying two out. Well, two times two is four, times two is eight, times two is 16. There we go. So I had four twos being multiplied, so my solution to the log 2 of 16 is going to be 4. The other way you can do it is you rewrite the logarithm in exponential function form and then use the property of like basis. My eraser. Okay, so I know that 2 to some power equals 16. 2 to some power equals 16. Well, if I have a base of 2 over here, I need to break the 16 down to a base of 2. So if I divide 2 out, I get 8. Divide 2 out, I get 4. Divide 2 out, I get that. So 2 to the x equals 2 to the 4. And when my bases equal each other, my exponents equal each other. Um, so just really the difference is exponential function focuses on solving for the amount or the value. Logarithms focus on solving for the x or the exponent. So in the homework, it's going to ask you to basically rewrite the logarithm in exponential form and then being able to identify what's the base, what's the exponent, and what's the amount, or it's also been referred to as the argument, but just, just the A is, is the answer, okay? So I hope that kind of explains that. Uh, remember your rules of uh, exponential properties that, you know, an exponent of zero always results in one as a whole number for your answer um, and so check out the video the Khan Academy videos for a little more details on this or some more advanced explanations on that so you might be given a logarithm where you have the log of W the log W of 1024 is 5 now in this case they tell you what X is what your exponent is but you don't know what your base is this is where a scientific calculator is going to be necessary, okay? So to start with, let's rewrite this in exponential function form. I know that w is my base, and when I circle around, the base of w to the fifth power is 1024. That means to get the five exponent off of there, I need to find the fifth root, but I got to do that to both sides. I have to find out what number times itself, times itself, times itself, times itself gets me here. And again, scientific calculator is really going to be the only way to get there. You, on your calculator, need to find the button that says y, the y root of x. This lets you find anything
beyond the square root. Just this is saying what number times itself. So if I have 81, what number times itself? It's going to be 9. But in this case, we have the fifth root. So we need to be able to type in our amount, hit the y root of x, and we need to then put then that it is the fifth root we're looking for so that we can find out what that base is. So I'll type that out here. 1, 0, 2, 4. There's my y root of x. And now I have a little sign in front of my, my uh, root symbol to be able to say what root I need. I need the fifth root. And right there, it's 4. Then I can double check that. If I went 4 times 4 times 4 times 4 times 4, I would get this answer. So for this logarithm, 4 is my answer because it's my base. So if you happen to have this button on your calculator, great. If not, I use calculator.net or you can find there's a whole bunch of different easy calculator websites uh, to be able to use for the online. So this is just all you need to do. Okay, so like, uh, let's see if we can find another one of these examples. Four in there. Yay. Oh, okay. So now this is actually giving us, so if I have log six of X is six, log six of X is six. If I rewrite this, it means six is my base and I go around. I need to find 6 to the 6th power, and that is my answer, okay? So in this case, to be able to solve this, I need my calculator button again, and I need to find x to the y power. The x to the y lets me then type in what's my base and what exponential value do I want. Most calculators only have a square or cubed root, and we're going to need to go beyond that. So I would type in 6x to the y power. Oh, I didn't clear things off. Okay, it's very confused now. Um, okay, so it's clear. So let's try this again. 6x to the y. So now I have the little up in the air exponent element. There we go. 6 to the 6th power is 46,658. So these four logarithms and exponential functions are your two really important buttons to be aware of. This lets you reduce to find the base. This lets you multiply up to find the answer. Okay, and I hope that helps.